sedation in a solution. Hey, I'm Jonathan with Limitless Mindset, and this is my biohacker review of ashwagandha and L-theanine solution by Youth and Earth. In this video blog, I'm gonna break down my experiences with it, and then there's gonna be a bit of an up-to-date educational segment on the recent science that's been done on ashwagandha and L-theanine. Sorry about this quick interruption. I've got an important call to action for you. Please go watch this video and subscribe to Limitless Mindset over on one of the alt tech platforms, Rumble or Odyssey. And that is where you can catch my latest videos along with browsing my entire library of content and videos and podcasts. Over 700 pieces of edifying content about biohacking, nootropics, smart drugs, anti-aging, life hacking, about my pragmatic full-spectrum anti-fragility philosophy. If you value health freedom, I urge you to get outside of your digital comfort zone just a little and vote for the kind of future you want with your attention. Join and use the pro free speech social media platforms. I have the links below this video to where you can connect with me on those platforms. I do pay more attention to the comments that I get on those. Please don't procrastinate any further in taking back your freedom and your privacy from big tech. Don't even pause this video. Just pick one of the alt tech platforms. I think that Odyssey is the best. It's kind it's a lot like YouTube. It's as good as YouTube as a video platform, but there's no annoying ads interrupting the videos. So just pick one of those. Again, I've got them linked below and join it in another tab or window while we get back to what you clicked on. So recently, before bed, and then also sometimes at dinner, I've been taking two teaspoons, two velvety teaspoons of this stuff, which has this great uh, coffee vanilla flavor. It's not actual coffee, but it has a nice natural coffee vanilla flavor to it. And this is one supplement that you'll definitely feel. No doubt, it has this uh, acute, sedating, tranquilizing effect, just, just what you want uh, before bedtime. Or if you're like me and you do uh, intermittent periods of no booze, where you go completely off the alcohol, and in, in these periods, I like to have something in the evening with dinner to take the edge off. I, I know I could do meditation for like 40 minutes before dinner, but I don't always have time for that. So I like to have something to take the edge off. Sometimes I'll do like an infaceutical, but uh, actually this works quite well, is I'll just mix two teaspoons of this stuff into a glass of water at dinner, and then I am just a little bit, the, the worries and the concerns of the day, they just uh, tend to melt away. And I do, uh, it doesn't make a marked difference on sleep. When I take this before bed, I uh, consistently fall asleep within five minutes or 10 minutes of lights out in the Roseland bedchamber. And my wife has been taking it and she nods off even faster than 
me. I have this uh, story that I'm coming up with every night and every night I'm coming up with like a little bit more of it to, uh, to tell her, but a lot of times when she's on these uh, sleep supplements, she only makes it like a minute into the, the story before she falls asleep. So it's, it's been slow, slow progress on that. But getting good sleep is worth it. You know, if, if you got a lady in your life, you wanna make sure that uh, she gets the uh, optimal beauty sleep, right? And overall, I am a big fan of these liposomal mixtures from youth and earth for a lot of reasons for the uh, liposomal technology which enhances bioavailability for their commitment to quality but but my favorite reason uh, for these is just the the taste engineering that i can tell has gone in to them and the coffee vanilla flavor on this one is no exception. You'll really enjoy it. I guess I'm getting uh, kind of old and, and grizzled as a biohacker and I'm kind of sick of supplements and biohacking stuff that tastes awful. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna enjoy things, enjoy things a little bit as I, uh, as I grow into maturity, right? And so I, I, I'm growing a little bit less tolerant of uh, nootropics that, uh, yeah, that taste like gasoline. Um, so something like this is a real pleasure. We've got another package from our friends at Youth and Earth. And you may be looking at me and saying, boy, Jonathan has got a lot of hair. And that's that's the way I like him, guys. That's the way my wife likes me. And doing all of these supplements, my hair grows a lot. Uh, these supplements, they, they do something to my my hair. Because I got I'll get haircuts. And then it's not be that long at all after the haircut. It's not the supplements, John, it's your genes. This is my wife's theory. Mm -hmm. I think the supplements might have something to do with it. What's so let's see what we've got here. Hmm. Aha. Oh, ashwagandha and L-theanine. Mm -hmm. And that is coffee and vanilla flavored. Oh, lovely. That I would love to try that. That sounds tasty, doesn't it, babe? Mm, yeah. So let me, I'm going to try the ashwagandha and L-theanine because I had a grueling workout today. I'll so, try it later. That's right. Yeah, I think you'll like it. So. Oh, I bet. Uh, let's see. I'll just do it like this. I'll do it the same way. Yep. Oh no! John! It's okay. Look, it's kind of the same color as coffee, actually. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh my, that kind of tastes like a girly shot. <laughs> you know, those, those shots of booze? Yeah. <laughs> For her. For chicks, it tastes a little bit like that. I like Bailey's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of tastes like one of those uh, Bailey's, Bailey shots. So I'm going to love it. Oh, yeah. I'm now going to summarize the recent studies that have been done on the two ingredients. So I did check PubMed, checked it recently, and there are no... Uh, human clinical trials evaluating the specific combination of ashwagandha and L-theanine. But there's plenty of science on the two individual ingredients. Starting with ashwagandha, some recent science has explored the potential of ashwagandha for combating
and then a, a Belgian Saudi Pakistani, a collaborative review suggests ashwagandha as a potential drug candidate for integrative cancer chemotherapy and cure. So I guess that's good if uh, you have cancer. Sorry about that. And then this, here's something that's notable. A case report out of the UK relates a 39-year-old female presented with a one-week history of jaundice and nausea after taking an over-the-counter herbal supplement containing ashwagandha root extract. So a little bit of bad news there. And boy, I would like to know what else the over-the-counter supplement contained. And I'd also like to know if the ashwagandha she took was the problematic KSM 66 version of ashwagandha. Do check out my interview with Lucas Sohn, uh, where we delve into his uh, research, uh, his concerning findings with KSM 66, which is that one is sold everywhere. And this particular case, uh, report is a sobering reminder that herbal supplements are not universally safe because they're natural or organic. In fact, many herbal supplements contain troubling amounts of impurities. And this is why you should be discriminating. This is why you should only get your herbal supplements from a credible vendor, someone like these guys. I think they're credible. Or uh, you want to do a little bit of background research on a company, see what kinds of reports that they have, see if there's real people behind the company. You want to do that as opposed to just picking up the cheap stuff from a local vitamin or supplement shop. You know, there in the white bottles, that, that stuff that's down at the bottom of the shelf and it's on discount, and you're like, wow, this, this is a good deal. I, I could get two of these for the price of one of those. No, 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 no. You, you don't want to do that. That's, I suspect, what happened to this 39-year-old female in the UK. We're, we're, not to, we're not to call them women anymore, you know? Uh, what, what is a woman anyways nowadays? It's just a 39-year-old uh, female. That's, that's not dehumanizing at all. Right, right, mates? Anyways, okay, moving on to L-theanine science. So L-theanine is awesome, awesome stuff. I uh, drink, uh, I try to drink green tea every day. And uh, if I could, I drink like five cups of green tea every day, just, just for the L-theanine. Anyways, here's what the, what the science is saying this year about it. Okay, a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled 2021 Japanese study found that the single dose of L-theanine reduced the reaction time to attention ta tasks and it increased the number of correct answers and decreased the number of omission errors in working memory tasks. Our study indicated that L-theanine may contribute to improved attention, thus enhancing working memory and executive function. Okay, so that's mostly good news. That, uh, that classifies L-theanine as a holistic kind of nootropic. However, it does say that it decreased reaction time to attention tasks. And, oh boy, originally I had read that and I had thought that maybe what they were saying decreased reaction time, so that'd be less reaction time, so that'd be positive. Because originally when I read that, I was kind of thinking the other thing, that decreased reaction time means it like be more time to react. I don't know, that's the way I thought about it. Uh, when I initially read it, and I said maybe L-theanine would not be best for like a competitive gaming session because it might uh, decrease or increase reaction time. You know what? This is one of these things you got to self-experiment with. Uh, this is one of these things where, you know, the science uh, says one thing, but you're an individual and you're going to react in some unique ways to different things. So if you do something like uh, 
competitive gaming or salsa dancing, competition, fencing, aficionado. If you're doing something like that, you're just gonna have to do a little bit of A-B split testing is take the supplement in isolation on a day that you're doing your challenging hobby and then see how you perform, see if there's a bit of a subjective uptick, and then the next day do it without it and see how you perform. Okay. And there was a 2022 study of 27 healthy adults, and it notes that L-theanine can increase attentional processing of auditory information in a dose-dependent manner. Okay, so that would kind of suggest that L-theanine might be a good idea if you got to do some podcast editing and you need to be really attuned to the auditory information, or maybe if you're doing, uh, if you're a musician and you're doing music production, or I could imagine, I could imagine all sorts of scenarios where enhanced auditory would be helpful. Maybe, maybe you want to do something where you listen to an audiobook on like 2x speed. And then do a lot of Elfini and see if you pick up more from the audiobook. Worth trying, right? And then final piece of recent research that grabbed my attention was a proof of concept neuroimaging randomized controlled trial evaluating a combination of L-theanine and caffeine for treating ADHD in boys. And here's what it said. L-theanine-caffeine combination may be a potential therapeutic option for ADHD-associated impairments in sustained attention, inhibitory control, and overall cognitive performance. And this is one of these things that I, I'm just a little bit sour on because I come from this generation where if you were like slightly bored in school as a little kid and school is mind-numbingly boring, especially for little boys with a ton of energy. I come from the generation where they're like, oh, you're slightly bored. Here, uh, you you have this problem called ADD. Now it's called ADHD. Um, but you've got, you're a problem. You're not quite right in the head. Little guy, we're going to have to give you some. We're going to have to give you some drugs so you can sit there and shut up and learn about uh, all this boring stuff in school from a chubby teacher, right? And uh, yeah, and what we're seeing, actually, more and more science coming out that uh, actually what you could do is just give those kids a little bit of L-theanine, a little bit of caffeine, and that's going to make a difference. We don't need to put them on crazy, uh, crazy drugs that, you know, who knows what happens. We, we put all these little boys on, on drugs and now we have a epidemic of school shootings. You know, we could have just given them a little, little bit of caffeine, a little bit of L-theanine instead. I remember when I was very first diagnosed with ADHD, they actually didn't ADD at the time, ADD. At the, they didn't first start by giving me Ritalin, giving me drugs. They started with something that's, that's actually even more insane than that. What they did was they told my mom that she should give me soda to drink all day, uh, like sugary, I guess the soda had a little bit of caffeine in it, but give me sugary soda all day. And my favorite soda was Mountain Dew. It was Mountain Dew. And so my mom would send me off to school with like this big giant bottle. I mean, now it's probably, you know, I've grown, I've grown. So now if I saw the bottle, it'd probably be a little bit smaller, but I was the only kid in my classroom who could drink from this big giant bottle of Mountain Dew all day, all day, all day long. And th thankfully, sometimes I, somehow I, I survived all that and uh, grew up to be a, a somewhat <laughs> functional, normal, normal human being, but pretty insane, right? And uh, good to know for uh, people who might have kids that have ADHD, you can you know, experiment with a little bit of caffeine and L-theanine. That's my rant. That's a little bit of my rant on the, the state of the education system. Let me know if you feel uh, similarly uh, enraged by all that. So I, yeah, uh, if you're looking for a tasty 
supplement uh, with some ingredients that are you know well proven ingredients low low risk no risk type ingredients you could pick up some of this stuff from uh, youth and earth and you probably would not want to get this alone unless like uh, sleep and anxiety are like real issues of yours you'd probably want to pick it up with some other things from them so you can check out my other article my other reviews that I did. I did one of their NMN and NR products, which is a very different kind of thing. You want to educate yourself on that before you try that, or potentially their glutathione. Their glutathione tasted really, really nice. I like the taste on that. So yeah, if you'd, if you'd like your biohacking to be just a bit more delicious, check out their stuff. I'm Jonathan with Limitless Mindset, looking forward to a continued conversation with you.